This is the story of a man whose life was revered by most. A small town boy who grew to a level of fame and success that few know. This is the story of triumph. This is the story of a downfall. This is the story of Tyler Holland. Some men dream big. Some men don't dream at all. Tyler Holland blacks out. We don't know if he dreams. We just know that he wakes up in pools of his own vomit, smelling like old, old whiskey. Like most kids growing up in Ocala, Florida, Tyler grew up without electricity, consistent medical care, or access to clean water. In Ocala, Florida, vaccinations only existed in fairy tales. Tyler left Ocala, left behind a future sure to be filled with children and whores to pursue a dream to make small, short, mildly amusing videos in Tampa, Florida. But what the big city held for Tyler wasn't smiles and baskets of kittens, but something very, very different. When Tyler arrived in Tampa, his dreams were bigger than ever. And little did he know that his liver would swell to be larger than ever as well. Tyler drank himself into a condition that many doctors call stupid. In early 2010, Tyler Holland was elected president of Rough Cut, the AI Tampa film group. The pressures and responsibility at times brought the best out of Tyler, but at the same time also brought the worst. On one President's Day, a very public and very embarrassing incident happened for Tyler. In a nutshell, Tyler vomited all over the bar at a Bahama Breeze, then proceeded to lock himself in the men's bathroom at a Waffle House. It was fronts and displays like these that eventually led to the immediate downfall of Rough Cut and to Tyler's GPA and friends. Now alone, cold, and seemingly more lost than ever, Tyler searches for an answer in a bottle. A bottle that doesn't have an answer, but only more booze. Delicious, delicious booze.